Hey guys, it's uh, Angelo Christian Financial. Thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Real Estate Insider. Today we're actually talking about the difference between loan origination and loan discount points. If you're out there getting a home loan, it's very important that you educate and protect yourself. Buyer beware to make sure you're getting the best deal and you know the difference. Know before you owe the difference between loan discount and loan origination because there's a huge difference on your settlement statement on what they actually mean and what they are and how they impact you. So we're going to explain the differences today. You have loan discount on the right side and loan origination on the left side. And there are differences in what they mean and the implications. So, for example, a loan discount is prepaid interest. It's a buy down on your interest rate. So let's say that, for example, that your lender comes back and says, well, Mr. Jones, you get a 5% rate, but if you pay one point, you can get a 4% rate. And you say, huh, okay, well, if I pay one point and my loan's 300,000, I pay $3,000, I can go from 5% to 4%. That's a pretty good deal if you're gonna live in the home for a long time. That makes sense. That's what a discount point is. It buys down your interest rate and you can write it off on your taxes because it's prepaid interest. So it's a good thing. But on loan origination, that doesn't do anything to your interest rate. That's a lender's fee. It doesn't change the terms of the loan. It goes to their bottom line, their profit. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. We don't charge them here, but some most lenders do. And it can't be negotiated. If your lender's charging an origination fee, say, hey, listen, most lenders, Angelo Christian doesn't charge an origination fee. Why are you charging this? I don't want to pay it, right? Because if you're being charged that, you don't have to. But you can buy points to buy down your interest rate. Like for example, interest rates are at an all-time low right now. If their par rate, what's called a par rate, is 3%, 3% rate is par, you can buy down a rate, one point buy down, to get to 2.5%. And if you're gonna be in the home for a long time, it makes sense to buy down the interest rate because you can get a lower rate than before you get a lower payment. So that's a good thing, it's gonna help you. So you want that, so that's a good thing. So keep that in mind, to buy down your interest rate, that makes a lot of sense to do that. So. This is very important when you're out there getting a home loan, you're trying to buy a house, your second home, a vacation home, you're an investor. Knowing the difference on the settlement statement, especially if you're a first time buyer and you're seeing all these fees all over the place and you're getting inundated, know the difference between loan origination and loan discount because it can make a big difference so you don't get ripped off. So we've been lending for over two decades and helped tens of thousands of people all over the country we want to help you. Call our office at 832-431-6331 if we can help you with commercial or residential mortgages. You can also click on the link below to get signed up to get pre-approved. We want to help you to get your loan approved. Do you have any questions, anything that we can help you with? I also want you to watch my next video I'm getting ready to shoot.